is the Brother Street Garage of groundbreaking inventions. Hello and welcome to the Brother Street Garage of groundbreaking inventions. Now this is a show where the brothers pitch made-up inventions to me. And on my right, I have Dylan Streep. Hi, On my left, I have Simon Streep. It's me. Welcome, guys. My name's Andrew, and the theme of this week's show is the wardrobe. Oh, well, I've already got a perfect idea uh, to, to just change the wardrobe forever. Now, if you're like me, every now and again, you need to wear pajamas. Because <laughs> sometimes when you go into sleepovers, it's just not appropriate <laughs> to sleep naked in someone else's bed. So right. pajamas come in handy. And I just feel that for some reason, no one makes pajamas for adults. Even in the, the kind of the normal adult section of a clothing store, if you try buy pajamas, they all look like, you know, weird sort of patterns on the legs and the top <laughs> looks like, you're, you know, a sailor or something. This is no standard, normal shirt, normal pants pajamas. It's all like kind of, ooh, like this old sort of 90s boxes kind of like right. bottom. Mm. So I'm just thinking, just design nice pajamas. My invention is, the pajama for the casual wearer. <laughs> Just the but, nice shirt, nice pants. But now, isn't the point of pajamas the material and such that they're made of? Like, why aren't you just wearing nice shirts and nice pants then? And going to sleep? <laughs> because I don't want to go All to you sleep. want is a nice shirt and a nice pants. <laughs> well, I don't want to go to sleep in my jeans. I already don't ever change my jeans <laughs> in the week. Going to sleep in them is not a great idea. Right. I just, I don't mind it being a different material. I'm perfectly happy with the soft material. But Plain leg, plain black leg, please, yeah. on both sides. <laughs> and that no two face. I'm fine with that. I don't want what just you... the funky pajamas. Oh, look, everyone just looks like a kid when they're wearing pajamas. But who, how many people are going to sleepovers anyway? I mean, if you're okay. still going to All sleepovers, right. maybe you deserve I said to be sleepovers. in maybe kid what pajamas. I meant, maybe what I meant is when my wife wants to cuddle up to her manly husband. Uh, yeah. I want to feel like a man, You're not, not a like Spider-Man pants. <laughs> not, yeah, not like a seven-year-old child. Can I bring the ice cream to bed? No. <laughs> I mean, that's what I imagine a seven-year-old child doing. Would your pajama shirt have buttons on it? Uh, I, I was do, also thinking of this actually. Because I that would be not. very uncomfortable. Or I mean, you've said a shirt. I'm thinking a proper shirt with a collar. Like, look, you want to look smart for your wife, no. as you said, well, when no, you're trying I don't to look, sleep, because okay. that's the most important thing when you're trying to sleep is to look smart. I don't dress when like that. your eyes are closed. Oh, I just in case I wake up in the night and think I'm in a business meeting. I don't wear this fancy shirt in, in normal life. It's oh, just okay. the <laughs> right. I'm perfectly happy to have a t-shirt okay, okay. uh, when I'm sleeping. It doesn't have to be do the you wear, so, do you I don't want to go to sleep with a tie, because then you're going to wake up strangled. <laughs> wake up in a noose. Yeah. Uh, do you wear pajamas all the time? Or, uh, as uh, you say, yeah, is it... Nudity unless <laughs> it's nudity unless, unless you're a, away. <laughs> it's nudity unless I'm proactive enough to put on pants. To be <laughs> honest, okay. Because yeah, I've also never really had a pair of pajamas. It's just whatever pants I've worn away the most, <laughs> they become pajama pants. Yeah, <laughs> just is, naturally. Just still better than what you would buy in the store. So no. that's my idea. Okay. Well, I think um, I once had a pair of zip offs, and I know some people have these. They're the kind of shorts that you can zip off. The bottom section. Oh, they're long pants, and then oh, it's too hot for long pants. I'm gonna zip these off. Yeah. I think a lot of adults I've seen wearing them. Uh, they tend to be in the cargo variety, and I think pants. We shouldn't have stopped at pants. They should be zip off <laughs> shirt, long sleeve shirt, zip it off t-shirt, zip it off again, muscle vest <laughs> thing. You could have it with blazers. The same. Zip thing. it off again, tank top. <laughs> zip it off again. Uh, socks. If you're wearing long pants, you want a long sock. But if you've uh -huh. zipped off. Now you have shorts and a long sock, zip off, secret sock. <laughs> you could even have it with boots. How much would I have wow. to pay for this? Well, oh, it sounds like a zip off. <laughs> <laughs> the, thing, <laughs> the thing with this is that you would pay next to nothing because it hasn't been invented oh, wow. yet. But uh, I don't know, what do you think? Just zip offs of every kind of variety. Well, I can only imagine, I mean, zips on a good day can be temperamental. Right. If, you're, if you're at work and it is getting a bit warm mm. and you try and zip off your, your, you get one of them off, but then the other one catches and it's now stuck. Now you're stuck with oh, the that's true. Well, that's, that's, no, that's how fashion is created. Right? <laughs> I think some of those crazy pictures you see are just a, a wardrobe malfunction and they go, oh, it's too late, get out onto the runway. <laughs> like, oh, wow, this is amazing. Flash, flash. Fair I enough. wonder though, I mean, will people know to stop? I'm just worried about a scenario. Zip down to underpants. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond that, I'm just worried like you're going to be like, zip, zip, zip. Okay, you're kind of in less clothes. And you're like, 
oh, I'm not too sure if I really want my leg anymore. And you just start trying <laughs> to slowly, <laughs> surely zip off your leg. Do you think and, it's possible? Oh, look. It's Sky's not, the limit with this. Totally. I mean, we're just blue skying here, see what we're coming up with. I do have a pair of zip offs that I got, as I said. But the problem was, I zipped them off and then lost the top off. <laughs> <laughs> So now I don't have that, but I've got these two kind of tubes with zips just in my cupboard. Like leg warmers. Yeah, I guess. Maybe when, uh, when somebody comes around for a sleepover with zip-off pajama pants, I'll steal the top off and create some kind of hybrid. Sounds I good. Like that. Simon. All right. Well, I for a long time thought that I'm not 100% comfortable with secret socks. It's like you're lying to your shoes. Or at, least, <laughs> or at least you're lying to the people around you. Like, oh, I'm not wearing socks. I am wearing socks. Yeah. I just don't know. But I'm going to suspend my just general disgust with the concept of lying in fashion. And I'm going to create something that's going to blow the world I'm to, prepared. to shreds. Are you ready? Yeah. Secret shoes. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> For the person who, like their friends in summertime, wants to be like, I'm casual. I'm not going to put on shoes. Yeah. I'm going to walk on the hot tar. But they're secretly going, oh, it's going to hurt. So I'm going to burn the soles of my feet. Secret shoes. They're just... <laughs> this is madness. I mean, there's this invisibility shoes. No. So they're shoes that are just ever so slightly bigger than your feet. Are designed to look like feet. Oh. <laughs> and you slip your feet into the shoe foot. Right. And then you're basically barefoot, except you're not really. So at the end of it, would you put your toes into toes? Or, you know, it's, it's a new technology. I'm not 100% certain on the very specific details. But I quite I like the idea of it could work. these things. You could even get ones to make your foot look a bit bigger. Yeah. If you're yeah. like the kind of guy who has small feet and everyone goes, yeah. small feet, uh, you know uh, what they say, <laughs> small secret socks. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, and then you could have bigger feet. I think it will work. Uh, with this, uh, you'd, so you'd have to have a full range of like skin tones. To cover everyone so that everyone could buy it. No, True. no, no. But then, use skin color from, <laughs> from primary school. <laughs> but then, but then, like, people could mix and match. That would be amazing. <laughs> Why would you? When, when <laughs> would that be amazing? I don't know. Like, like <laughs> maybe, you maybe, you, maybe you want, uh, like, black feet. <laughs> For what? Why not? Or well, you could have, you could have feet that matched your tan. Because yeah. that is the problem. When you tan in yeah. shoes, then your feet end up white. So now you could get the kind of shade up to your to the rest of your body. I'm or if you get tanned, you'll have to buy another pair of shoes because you're now too 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 no, tanned for your shoes. Okay, what you're trying to do is try to distract everyone from the fact that you've said that you want black feet for some weird reason. Yeah. Well, I think it might be fun. <laughs> Why would you need new shoes to go with your tan? You don't put these shoes on and then put them into shoes. <laughs> that's that's going way beyond the point. <laughs> Secret shoes <laughs> that you put inside real shoes. You may as well not wear anything. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, who are you trying to impress? Are you going to walk on hot tar? Oh, who, who's, who's impressed by walking I'm on not hot tar? I'm impress anyone. <laughs> yeah. Is this kind well, of one specific thing who's where you the, had to walk on tar? Who's impressed by seeing a white guy with black feet? Like, yeah. oh, oh, are you trying to cool? impress anyone? I thought it might be a fun... Black guy over there with white feet. You keep saying it'll be fun. Why is it fun? I don't know. What but why are you trying to impress people with walking on hot tar? They're you need to walk in someone else's shoes and experience the greatest love of being that. Anyway. I, it's, not like, it's not like I think people out there are like, oh, that guy's impressive. He's walking on a very hot surface right yeah. now. Although that might be impressive if it's one of those hot coals. Maybe situations. that's how they do it. Probably walking yeah. on hot coals. Yeah. <laughs> They're just wearing a secret, secret shoe. But uh, it's more just to do with like, you want to enjoy the summer's day and you want to kind of get the casual vibe. And mm. that will just look casual. I mean, mm. fashion is all about the looks, isn't it? Sometimes people are wearing weird things that definitely don't serve any functional purpose, like the hood that is just the hood and doesn't go down to the rest of the D, the hoodie. Like, so, I mean, it, it could work. It, uh, you'd be very fashionable, but you'd also have very sweaty feet. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, speaking of summer, I've brought an accessory. I know it's not clearly or um, strictly the wardrobe, but it mm. is something you wear. Now I'm just going to get this out. These are your common mm. or household sunglasses. All right. I think you can agree I look quite cool in them wow. by, by 90s standards. I agree with Cool that. guys wear sunglasses. Wow. Not. Well, not I guess. <laughs> There's one thing that's not cool is a sunglass tan. Ooh. Uh, so you wear them in the sun and you come out. At the end of the day, you think that was a very cool day. Take them off. Oh, my goodness. I can't go to work like this. I look like a complete idiot. There's nothing you can do. There is something you can what do. What can you do? I just punch you in both your eyes. Black eyes. Yeah. Also, no one, will, no one will see. I mean, it's it's solving the problem with another problem. Or you just go 
oh yeah, you should see the other guy, they all laugh it off, <laughs> and then you're like the hero of... Well, my movie. invention at least is a full face glass. <laughs> so, so that you can get the benefits of lying on the beach and reading your book and like, you know, seeing the waves and things. But you wear, you put it on like a sunglasses, but it just covers the whole face. No, but hang on, sorry, your whole thing <laughs> is that you don't want to wear the sunglasses at the beach because when you take it off, it makes you look uncool, but you want to wear the sunglasses because it makes you look kind of cool. Yeah. No. The, the single face glass <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay. is certainly not going to yeah. look cool in any but stretch of the imagination. everyone's wearing it. Well. Because everyone who wears sunglasses and people who don't, um, they both look fine. It's the people who've worn them and taken them off and got two-toned face. That's the problem. So the sunglass face, what did I call it? The face glass <laughs> is, uh, is just there so that your whole face doesn't burn or your whole face tans at the same ratio. In the world where the face glass is cool, it's the exact yeah. same world where people are going, well, you're a white guy, but you got black feet. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, I'm happy to live in that world as long as I'm making money off the face glass. Well, I have a few inventions that I've found online. Um, the first one is called the sun dry swim. All right. And yeah. uh, it's, it's, a, it's a bikini that features quick dry nanotechnology enhanced, enhanced swimwear fabric. Okay. All right. It sheds yeah. water as naturally it as skin. It sheds water. Yeah. Why don't so you, you dive into the pool, you just bounce out again. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. But the point is, is that you, you're swimming around, you're having fun, you get yeah. out of the pool. You don't have to dry off. You, you dry, your, well, your, your skin has to dry. Your skin has the to dry problem with off, this is I have to wear a bikini. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the most obvious I'm guessing they have. Uh, I'm guessing they have more items in their selection, right. such as Speedos. Let's ah, go with Speedos. Again, a problem. Once so, again, how is drying the smallest possible piece of fabric <laughs> more important than drying the rest of your body that is wet? Well, I don't, I don't know. But I mean, just imagine not having to dry off your board shorts because there's similar technology yeah, can be applied that. to it's that. It's called the sun on a hot day. You get mm, out and automatically... I don't know, you're going for a morning swim Did in you a, say it uses lake? nanotechnology? Nanotechnology. They just use that word in everything now. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, it works. It's from the future, and it uses nanotechnology, so no one understands. Yeah. My grand design, mine, it's nanotechnology. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, I, well, you guys... Nano yeah, I know. I, yeah, I got it. You guys really don't <laughs> like that, do you? So I'll give you another one. This is called the closet washing machine, okay? Uh, it's completely waterless, and... Uh, <laughs> It's a suspended laundering Impossible. system. It's not happening. You can't and wash. Basically, it water. looks like. No, just hear me out. It okay. doesn't. You can, you can imagine your 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 suit. I can't. Stop uh, making hanging, stuff up. <laughs> hanging in yeah. a cupboard. Now you put like a case around it that yeah. uh, uses ionization and yeah. various yeah. other things. What other things? Ionization. <laughs> and, uh, and it dry one? cleans your Is clothes the, the, in the cupboard. Dry cleans. Yeah. Oh, oh well, there you go. It dry, yeah, dry cleaning in the cupboard. As you go. I imagine this thing must pay for itself there as well in the first kind of couple yeah. dry cleans because dry cleaning is very expensive. I don't trust it. I don't trust anything. It's like that stuff you can buy to wash your hands. That's just the lotion. And it's apparently yeah. like washing your hands underneath a, a, like a tap in a sink. Not happening. Okay. Go to the sink. There must be water hands. involved. Yeah. yeah, if there's not water involved, it's not worth it. The dirt's just moving around. Yeah. So don't come selling nicer. me your rubbish inventions. Okay. Well, do you like it? Not he at all. Like it. I hate it. You hate it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, that brings I'm us. I'm surprised to be here for the next episode. <laughs> that, that brings us to the end of this week's episode. If you liked it, please click like and subscribe and didn't. share it with your friends. He didn't, and he might not have. <laughs> uh, uh, otherwise, tune in next week. Goodbye.